I don't want to kill them. Um, we're just going to pair up. We're going to right into some pummeling. But we're going to hit some. Actually, we're just going to pummel first. We're just here. Everybody knows how to pummel? Alright, so that's all we're going to do. Just roll in. Now, here's what I want. Pull your arm up. Just go pull it. Just try to pull this arm up. Pull that arm up. This is how we pummel, okay? So we don't just do this. We're not just hanging out. I'm not just here so I can pull my arms out and I can do whatever I want. Like when I'm pummeling, I'm heavy on this arm, so I'm pummeling in. Even if we're just floating, we're just gonna float. I'm here. My elbow's down. Freeze, pull that arm out. So even this is like, he'll, he's feeling this the entire time. Pull your arm up. This grip is always on, okay? The reason I do that, because this is where I'm most powerful, okay? The more I get here, the weaker I get. So I want to keep my elbows in tight, close to my body. I want to be comfortable with that, and I want to, I want that to be like my default position in every position. So if we're, if he's smashing me up against the fence, if he's smashing me up against the fence, I'm still heavy on this arm. So now he's not going to pull that out, and also that allows me to try to fight in better. If I can get here, I'm going to win. We're going to work some stuff off the wall in a bit. I think we got enough wall for everybody to work off. Um, so um, we're just going to start with some pummeling. I'm going to give you guys three techniques off of this in a minute, but flow with me. I'm just going to flow back and forth. I want your feet moving. I want both of you guys moving around. I'm just going to pummel for a two minute round. And then we're going to get into a couple of techniques where we can work off of here. Taking this back, arm drags, different things like that. Okay. With your partner, grab a partner, grab a partner, grab a partner, grab a partner. Grab a partner. Sorry. Okay, so pummeling. This is a lot, of, you see this a lot in fighting. And ideally, what I want to do is get to here, have my double unders, right? Um, that's hard to get. But I found a way, like a cheat code. It's not 100% guaranteed, but it helps a lot to get there. We're both working for double unders, so we're going to work, Adrian, try to get double, try to get unders. Okay? See where his elbow is? Look at my elbow. Right? So what I like to do is I like to grab that, that scapula, lift my elbow, because now if he wants to get in, he has to lift his elbow higher, and that puts him at a disadvantage, because I'm low, and I'm here. Boom, I'm already in. So, when you're pummeling, if we're both pummeling, try to get doubles, if we're both pummeling here, see where he is, we get this. And then we're fighting here. Keep trying to get it, keep trying to get it. Look at where his elbow is. Sucks for him. So I want to keep that jacked up. That's going to benefit you. Now, if we're both doing that, then we're back to the same position, the original position, right? So we're going to work this for a while. I want you guys to pick a guy. One guy's going to get to the doubles, but you're both working for it. And I want, just want you guys fighting for it a little bit, but paying attention to trying to jack that elbow up, keeping this down. Also, I'm going to keep my elbow pinched to my body. And this, this just plays right here. This, my elbow, he feels the same, you feel, you feel the tightness on my arm? Feels the same? Yeah. Nothing changes where my elbow is concerned. Just this hand, and I'm here, I'm rolling my wrist to the inside. Inside his bicep, and I want to punch and get my hips in. Boom, I'm going to lock hands high on his head. I'm not going to lock my hands here. Drop your shoulders, drop your elbows. Yeah, I don't like this, now this is messing with my grip. So as soon as I get in, I'm here. Drop your shoulders, doesn't matter. I'm already in position, I'm already anchored down. Okay, you want to see that again? All right, with your partner on three. One, two, three. And I want to attack this leg. So I'm going to put all the weight on this side. I'm going to run. You guys are going to be too young. I was going to say, remember three of those bar? The sky hook. That's what I'm going to throw. I'm going to throw a sky hook. So I'm going to get to this leg. Okay. So if you pummel, pummeling, pummeling. I want that right leg. So I'm going to get here. I'm putting my head on his chest, hands locked, back hand on top. Okay, one more time. And it all depends on what side I want. If I want the other leg, it's the same thing. That's, not, that's my weak side, so I don't really care for doing that. But here, to get to that leg. Okay? Anyone need to see that again? We're pummeling, pummeling in. Unhook side of the side of the body I have control on. Even if he sits heavy, sit heavy on this side. He's sitting heavy on this side, so I don't want that. So I'm throwing my whole body into it. Here. 
Okay? With your partner on three. One, two, three. <coughs> Do it once you're with me. Okay? So we're here. First thing that's gonna happen, this guy's gonna drop his hips. Because he wants to get heavy, he wants to get away from me. Right? Come back, sorry. I don't want to be here because he drops his hips now. So we'll do it again. He's heavy, it's gonna be very hard. He's gonna be able to start crumbling in on me, right? I don't like that. Come back. He's gonna start right here. He drops his hips. And a lot of times, a lot of times, this position is gonna be right here. I'm gonna get head position, keep him high, drop your hips, keep him up, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I wanna attack, and this is the side I like. So I'm gonna pull him to my right shoulder. I want him to step forward with that right leg. So I'm gonna drop heavy to my right hip, and step this way, so he steps forward. But watch my right foot. I don't want my foot to go from here and touch the ground again, okay? I'm gonna let my foot go back, but it's never gonna to touch the ground. So I'm here, here. To an inside trip, okay? One more time. So I'm in on my underhooks. You guys can use the fence if you want, or you can stay out in the middle. From here, pressure, pressure, pressure. I'm gonna bring him and his hip towards me and step inside here as that foot lands, okay? Notice when I do it slow, he knows that's what I want, so he pulls that leg back. So what I wanna do is I wanna catch that foot as it hits. So from here, ready? Hips down. So I wanna catch that foot as it hits. I wanna go. Does that make sense? Anyone need to see that one again? Awesome. With your point on three. One, two, three. Let's just go this way. I put this strip in. I want you to whistle when I do this, okay? This is the problem you're going to run into. I'm going to leave my head on this side. I'm going to trip on this side. He's going to whizzer when I do that. He's going to whizzer. Okay. So when I trip, I leave my head here. You see it? Yep. I'm going to let it hit you. So when I'm here, I pull him, I pull him in, I start to trip, my head stays on that side, that's what happens. It's miserable. The foot can get caught under there, I land it flat on my back, and I'm lucky that he didn't come down on me because that hurt. <laughs> um, so, now he's going to try to wizard and do the same thing. So when I pull him through, and I trip, oh, oh. There's nothing for him to do. I mean, but I threw my head to the same side. Last time, without the turn, from here, from this trip, I'm gonna throw my head, everything's on this side of him. That's why it gets heavy. Okay, so put your head on the same side of his body as you're tripping. Okay, on three. One, two, three. I, I'm, I've got good hips, and I've been able to get my hips back some, but now I'm framing up, and I wanna get away from this, so I pull him in. Now I'm here. And so him having that double lens doesn't matter anymore. It's not as hard for him to work. I've got this wizard and I've got wrist control. Okay? So that's the position we've worked to. So I got this underhook and he fought away from my double unders and he has wrist control. Um, a lot of times, here's another thing. Push on my hip, do frame up like you wanted to or whatever. Arm with his hand. Yeah, because I'm not going to give you this one back. Like, so here's the thing, okay? Watch this. If Francisco and I are working, he's framed up here. What do you want to do? Do you want to do anything different? You want to keep this frame on. Keep working. If he stays here, it's good for me. I'm not worried about that. Most guys from this position, they like to grab the wrist, okay? So if he grabs my wrist, okay, he grabs the wrist, you grab it on the inside, you're giving me that back. You grab it on the outside, you give me come on, some options, but they're hard. So try, if you're gonna hold it, I don't recommend holding the wrist from his position. If you're gonna hold it, hold it this way, okay? Um, but from here, here's what I want. I don't like his head position because he has a better head position than me. So if we want to fight the head position, all I want to do is throw him and take the head position back. So I'm gonna go and put my head where I want, okay? He's fighting now, he has my wrist, I have the underhook. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna flare this up. I'm gonna step in that direction. I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna pull this hand like I'm brushing my hair, so I'm going. Okay, one more time. We're working here, I'm working. Sometimes I will even fake, like I want this, le actually no. That's more advanced, we're gonna go there next. We're gonna do this one first. I prefer to go here first. So he's holding on to this wrist, keep your wizard heavy. 
You see guys here all the time, and they're working, they're working, they're trying to fight, and they're doing all this, and I hate watching this in fights because I'm like, why don't you just punch down to the single, okay? So he has that wizard keep your wizard high and strong. So even if that wizard is strong, a lot of guys will try to get here, and now my single does not feel very good. I don't want to just work to it slowly. I'm gonna punch to it hard. So I'm here on this, I'm gonna punch to my single. So keep this wizard high and heavy. I'm here, he's holding that wrist, I'm just gonna punch here, right? And I'm driving into him hard and strong, and I'm gonna step around to this position, okay? Now we're both, uh, both of our chests are facing the same direction. I'm not 90 degrees to him here. We're both facing this way. Head on his heart, not down here on his hips. <coughs> Listening to his heartbeat. From here, this back shoulder's on top, back hand on top, and I'm staying heavy here. Three legs in a line. I want all these things to happen. His back shoulder on top, stay up. Now I'm gonna turn him and dump him to his backside. Okay, but this shoulder pressure is what's gonna finish for me. I'm gonna step, step forward, step back, drive down. So I'm going, I can fall the side, I can keep this top half. Okay, back up. Um, Darnell, can I use you? So I got to this underhook. Darnell has a strong wizard, he's got wrist control on me. He's a big, strong guy. I don't like this. So I'm gonna punch, I'm gonna lean this hand out, and I'm gonna punch heavy and deep. Here, my whole body came down. Keep this wizard, I didn't. If I do this, he's holding on to me, he'll lift me up. So I wanna punch down with some, some force. Okay, so I'm here, he's holding on to that. I'm gonna bring the whole body down, driving into him, get to position, back hand on top. Okay, shoulder on the thigh, stay up if you can. Okay, I wanna step out and go. Okay, anyone need to see that again? With your partner on three, one, two, three. 